Hi everybody, thank you so much for stopping by and also a special thanks to my channel members for helping support this channel through difficult times. And speaking of difficult times, a couple months ago I uploaded a video talking about my dog passing away and how I wanted an art piece to remember him by. And that kind of led me into finding out about bouquet charms. So there's this concept in like the wedding industry where if you have someone who you really love who's passed away and can't be there on the day of your wedding, you can incorporate them into your wedding by having a bouquet charm. So this can apply to humans but it could also apply to pets so I decided to order one for my dog Max and I did unbox it completely in my vlogging channel which is Bunny Dreams so I'll have that link down below as well as in a pinned comment in the comment section um, but yeah I didn't know what to expect I don't have a lot of crispy high quality photos of Max and if I do there's a lot going on in the background and I wanted something a little bit more focused on him so this is a photo that I chose this was a Christmas photo and it is a little bit blurry so again I wasn't sure how I was gonna to turn out i really regret not having professional photos taken of me and max at any point in his 15 years of life because that would have been very handy but i also got max when he was back when like smartphones weren't even a thing like that's how young we both were that smartphones didn't exist instagram didn't exist i'm not even sure if facebook and myspace existed but I did the best with the photo that I had, so I ended up ordering it from this particular website. There are a lot on Etsy that do kind of bouquet charms, and you can also have different methods of attaching it to your bouquet. I chose a ribbon, but you can choose a pin, and you can choose also like in the form of a necklace if you, if you don't want to wear it on your bouquet, which I think is nice to have those options. So I chose this one. It doesn't have to be a pet one, like you can put your photo or submit your photo into any of these designs. I know like these square ones tend to be very, very popular. I chose this one that I saw, um, I thought it was beautiful and it kept selling out and then coming back. So I was gonna originally wait. I decided to just buy it because if you've seen any of the videos on this wedding playlist, I had to postpone my wedding. So originally it was gonna be this upcoming week, October 5th, but it ended up getting pushed to 2022. So I wasn't gonna originally buy this right now because I didn't need it for quite some time, but I figured, you know what, let's just get it over with. Let me not risk it not being available later on. So I submitted the picture and literally within a couple hours, she got back to me, she confirmed it like, okay, it's gonna be great, thank you. And then I didn't have something in stock from the photo so she showed me a different couple of options i chose the one that made sense to me which is forever in my heart i think that's just perfect saying um i did like the rainbow bridge one as well but this one was great so i chose this one and then literally within three or four days it got here the shipping was very fast it came in a tiny little brown box so i'm going to show you a little bit of what you can see on the vlog channel and it's absolutely gorgeous so let's take a look at it here's the ribbon it says forever in my heart with a little pop print and additional little outline of a heart and then there's max and all his glory looking super cute i didn't notice that in the picture that i chose there is a reflective spot on the left of him so that wasn't the etsy shop that's my own picture that has that and if i had noticed that before i would have chosen it but i mean it doesn't bother me it's fine he still looks absolutely adorable but that's what it says and then there's also a bone with a little blue gemmed heart which i think is so cute and it just makes me emotional i think this is perfect i think it's gonna look really nice on my bouquet which hopefully is gonna be great because I'm having my wedding kind of as a package, it's gonna be included. So I submit a couple of photos of what I would want my bouquet to look like, but it's never guaranteed it's gonna look exactly the same. It's based on whatever the florist has available at the time, and it's gonna be in the middle of winter. So I'm gonna hope for the best, but as long as they're not red roses, I'll be fine. I don't like red roses, um, or I do, but not in a wedding bouquet. So hopefully, it's it's all well even though speaking of bouquets i noticed there's a whole world of like wedding bouquets on etsy that are with like wood flowers like solo flowers super beautiful so i've been like tempted to just buy a bouquet off of that in case mine doesn't go well but that's that's unnecessary that's just me being like really extra but anyway this is gorgeous this is beautiful i highly recommend this shop i think she took a lot of care she was really sweet in the messages that she sent me because you know i explained this is because my dog passed away um, and I'm very sad and she was really kind and generous and I really appreciated it. So I will link that Etsy shop down below. Of course, I paid for this with my own money. You can see all the other things that she has. She even has like a DIY kit where you can make it yourself with all the components that she sends you. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to say. It is not sponsored, nor was it given to me for free for reviewing purposes. I always try my best with Etsy shop reviews to buy things myself just because I feel like it's easier for me to really 
look at it from an outside's perspective when you're invested in the money that you spent on something whatever anyway if you made it to the end of this video thank you so much for watching i really 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 appreciate it the next wedding it's funny because we haven't had wedding videos for this playlist in a while but the next one i'm doing is going to be also interesting once it's up i'll have it linked down below i'm going to be talking about my opal wedding ring or engagement ring but this isn't my engagement ring i already did a whole video talking about the whole situation with my rings but this is so beautiful and such a great option so i'm going to do a whole video dedicated to that so i can add that to this playlist because it's been a while since i've done any wedding related videos since it's been postponed but anyway that being said once again thank you so much for stopping by take care and until next time bye